director of football journeyman with me foggy plates on football manager 2021 as you can see from the screen in front of you we are at the final day of the season we are currently 17th place and secure from relegation so what we're going to do in this episode we're going to play swindon and then we're going to have a look at what i hope the director of football is going to bring in and maybe have a look at how the rest of the leagues are getting on so the important ones the ones we we all care about premier league championship maybe the french league german league italian spain and no that'll be all of them wouldn't it france italy germany spain england yeah so um we managed to survive with a couple of games to spare which was ideal because dillo picked up an injury and um I was fearful that we were going to lose every game after that, but thankfully, we didn't. Um, Shrewsbury, Burton, Northampton and Wimbledon all unfortunately got relegated. Um, we relegated Burton, if I remember correctly. But a win today and results going our way. We could finish 13th, which would be delightful. Uh, top of the league is fruity, to say the least. Blackpool, Hull and Oxford all level on points so that'll be interesting to see which two of those teams get automatic promotion and who wins the league so since you were here last we last game we played was the ipswich draw we then went and lost to gillingham they scored a very late goal and it was it was quite frustrating because we were quite good and um, it was just they got lucky. Our strikers weren't great. Our, well, our front line in general weren't great. Alex Perry scored his first goal of the season. And to be fair, he's not played many games other than that. There was just, I think, um, injuries were the only reason he was on the bench. Then we played Portsmouth, and it was a very close game. <clears throat> Draw was absolutely deserved. Then against Doncaster, Gavin Massey with another brace. The man just decides he's only going to score four, five goals a season. But he's going to do them all together. Uh, then we absolutely dominated crew. Oh, this game was fantastic. Will Keane scored a brace. Kyle Joseph got himself a goal. Dakres Cogley scored an absolute whirly. And Merry scored to put the cherry on top. It was beautiful. Um, then we beat Shrewsbury. Um, <clears throat> we scored a 91st minute winner to guarantee it. Then they... What I thought was guaranteed. They scored in the 93rd minute. And then had another highlight. In the 95th minute. And they just put it over the bar. So we got lucky in that. Um, in that game. Then against Burton. Will Keane. Gavin Massey. And Rob Senior. Scoring his first senior goal. And then Hull. 2-1. It was infuriating. We were the better team. Um, in the first half. And. They scored. In the 78th minute, we couldn't do anything to, to get back because we're not as good as they are. Uh, we have had a slight tactical tweak. We're playing a 4-4-2, but we're, we've keen on support rather than attack. Not being caught offside quite as often. So, <clears throat> Owen Evans starts in goal today. Dakaris Cogley starts at right back. Clemens and Dolan at centre-back with Pierce at left back. Evans and McHugh in central midfield. Massey and Solomon Adebor as our wide men. Senior and Keane start up front. So Senior, the guy who came to our youth intake, has played six games now. Three starts, three substitute appearances, one goal, one assist. He's not looking too bad. And he's getting better, which is all you can ask for. Um, we do have a few injury issues with uh, Diaco and Crankshaw picking up injuries. Diaco picked up the injury in the Hull game. Crankshaw picked up an injury during training if i'm not mistaken um and dillo is back from his injury but he's sitting on the bench because owen evans has been in decent form so why change a team that is doing well i guess so <clears throat> we are going into today's game knowing there's not anything really on the line but if we beat swindon 
we jump ahead of them in the league. And that is pretty much what we want. Finish as high as possible. Because we need money. We're a million in debt, I think it is. And like <clears throat> a million quid. A lot of money. The Swindon team has Brett Pittman starting up front. I thought Brett Pittman was 37 like five years ago. Or am I thinking of someone else? We're top. We're first. Let's show them why. Owen Evans is happy about that. Owen Evans is like, that's what I want to hear, boss. We're the best team in the league currently. Um, I've pointed the finger at everybody. And the majority of them have taken a liking to it. So uh, we are starting with Dolan because of the the injuries we have at the moment. Um, thankfully he can play centre-back. He's not amazing at it, but he can do it. We'll keep back to Evans and Evans smashes it in third of the season. He was offered a contract by the director of football. He rejected it. Um, Massey signed a new contract. If I'm not... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Massey signed a new contract and Joe Garner, um, you'd be interested to know, has been dropped to the under-23s because he has caused a little bit of a ruckus and I'm not happy with it. So I've demoted him and I'm hoping the director of football doesn't offer him a new contract because if he does, I'm going to be a little bit angry because I don't want him at the club. Brett Pittman. And I'm, I'm aware Gavin Massey has pulled a... Knee ligaments. I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about it too much right now. We'll substitute him off at half time if needs be. Brett Pittman. I'm gonna have to check to see. He's 33. Okay. I feel like he's older than that. Obviously he isn't, because you know that wouldn't make sense if he was older than that and not in not older than that in the game. But terrible throw by Dakaris Cogley, kind of going back to what we expect of him. Terrible cross by the Swindon striker. But they somehow managed to keep the ball and Stevens puts it ever so slightly wide. Um, Senior's not having a great game. But he is only 16. And I've thrown him in pretty much at the deep end. I'm going to thrash my arms. Fight. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Because I want to say I'm not happy. I could say I'm far from pleased. Okay, it's motivated so many of the players, which is what I like to see. Gavin Massey, you are going to come off because you are hampered by your injury. O'Neill can't really do inside forward. So what we might do is just go swap the two of them to inverted wingers. Mackenzie O'Neill, who I think is playing in some under 19s World Cup or something in the, the summer, which more match experience from Happy Death. McHugh to Evans, back to McHugh, Evans again. McHugh, Solomon, Evans. Oh, the keeper manages to get a touch on it and hits it off the crossbar, and it comes thundering back. Evans has has played well today. I'm hoping that he'll turn around and be like, do you know what, boss? I'll take that new contract. Well, not boss, because I'm not offering him a contract, but he'll be like, all right, Mr. Director of Football, I'll take that contract you're offering. Dakaris Cogley is dying. Dakaris Cogley is not the best when it comes to fitness. Uh, we're going to move Clemens over to right back. Long is going to come on at centre back. And Kyle Joseph is going to come on for senior. Because it's a fairly easy change to make. Senior is roughly the same level as senior. Um, he's just been a little bit more goal scorey this season. But he has had the entire season to, to do that. O'Neill to Solomon. Clemens. Kovar got very lucky with the um, with the ball landing nicely for him. McHugh picks up the ball up, picks the ball up again. Keen Solomon Adabor. That was a terrible, terrible attempt from Solomon Adabor. 
we're going to, or Zeki Friars steps up with a fairly late opportunity. Um, Chris, uh, sorry, yeah, Chris Mary is going to come on for McHugh. Dolan's not having a great game, but we don't have a centre back on the bench because we've already made that change. Um, we are going to bring on Dan Smith for Tom Pierce. Tom Pierce hasn't picked up an injury recently, which has been mind boggling because if you might, you might remember from the start of the season, got injured constantly. Clemens, beautiful tackle. Evans gets it forward to Keane. So that's the truth for Joseph. He's trying to dink the keeper from so far away. The keeper had so much time to get back onto his line. All right, we're going to go attacking. I'm going to fire the lads up right at the end and it is going to end one all. I'll take it. Survival. We finish lower mid-table. Evans has a good game to finish off potentially his Wigan career. Hands and hips, you weren't good enough today. Should have been winning that. To be fair, we should have we should have really won that game. But we didn't. So what can you do? I'll bask in the glory that is survival. 17th place. 57 points. Comfortably clear of Shrewsbury. Nowhere near getting promotion or a playoff spot. But next season we could do. Blackpool lost. Blackpool lost to Bristol Rovers. Oxford must have drawn with Burton. Already relegated Burton. And Hull beat Charlton to guarantee the league for themselves. Um, so Peterborough lost to Doncaster. Portsmouth beat Accrington. Who are very lucky to survive because they had a very poor start to the season. And Ipswich drew with Fleetwood. But that was enough because Hull beat Charlton. And McDonald's lost to Rochdale. Where did Rochdale finish? Roch 15th. So even if we had won the game, we would have still only finished 16th. Yeah, because our goal difference was terrible compared to compared to theirs. So Gavin Matthews picked up a three-week injury. Martin Samuelson has been transfer listed. Don't know why you're telling me this, but okay. Um, and Obi, how did Boston get on? Fifth in the Vanarama National League, and they still have games to play. Um, so I'm gonna have a quick look and see. Right, so the Premier League's not finished yet, but West Brom and West Ham both already relegated. The Championship Bournemouth are going straight back, but 110 points. Not bad. Brainford are promoted. Norwich, Reading, Cardiff and Watford in the playoffs. Next season we'll be playing Wickham, Barnsley and Preston. Oh. Did not expect Preston to get relegated. Chef Wednesday do well to get out of, out of relegation but it would have only finished 19th had they not had their 6 point deduction. You'd expect a little bit more. Um, in Spain, I don't think the Spanish division is finished. Nope. Um, Nobody is confirmed as champions or relegated yet. It's definitely a top three. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid. All guaranteed. Atletico could go top if they win their game against Levante. Which you would, I, I, would, assume, I would assume they would. Uh, the Bundesliga, it's not finished yet. But it's very much Bayern or Dortmund. Serie A, again, not finished. Um, Looks comfortable enough for Juventus and... PSG are already champions. Dijon and Metz are pretty much relegated. Just wait and see which one of them or which which team joins them. So what do we as a club need for next season? What would if I had the if I was making signings, who would I bring in? What would I bring in? So potentially a goalkeeper. Well, Odillo is quite good. Evans has plenty of potential. Could do with a right back. Because, as it stands right now, Dakris Cogley is our only right back. We need a centre-back because we have Long, Diaco, Weber's contract is running out. Um, Matt Dolan and Clemens. But Clemens's contract is up. And we don't really have anyone coming through the youth system. Left-back-wise, we've Tom Pierce and Dan Smith. But I'm assuming they're going to sign a whole bunch of other left-backs. Uh, central midfield-wise, 
we have Lee, potentially have Lee Evans, Alex Perry, Chris McHugh and or Mary and McHugh. Evans, Perry or Evans and Perry's contracts are running out. So we might have two central midfielders this start next season. We're relatively okay for wingers. Um, I'm hoping Crankshaw signs a new contract because his does run out at the end of this very season. Um, striker wise, Rob Senior, Kyle Joseph, Will Keane, and Reggie. So we've got four decent strikers there. I wouldn't mind an out and out goal scorer because um, Will Keane did score 17, but for large portions of the season, he was completely uninvolved. And in the youth, I don't know, we have it up here already. Uh, youth wise, we've Callum Lang, or in the under 23s, we've Callum Lang coming back. So we definitely have another winger slash striker. Obi as another centre back. Actually, forgot about him. Jolly. We actually have Charlie Jolly signed for another season as well, which is, isn't too bad. Joe Garner is hopefully definitely leaving. I don't really want him at the club anymore. Um, Harvey Grace as a winger. He's been quite good for the under 23s. Jack Sanders. Mm. Wouldn't want my house in him. Um, Divin. And. Um, Benjima has actually been quite good for the under 23s. Scored 22 goals in 40 games. Really, he might get a chance next season. Uh, because he's at the same level as a lot of the other strikers. I just left him in the under 23s to see how we get on. And in our under 18s, we have Alec Marshall, Connor Crow, Garshall, and Dmitry Sevsky, all youth in, and, and Pat Elston. All youth intake players from the most recent youth intake. Uh, Wallace as a decent centre back, centre midfield option potentially in the future. And Okoli, Levi Welch as well, did get a game. Uh, Kean Monks, like Levi Welch, scored 18 goals in the under 18s. Kean Monks scored 14. So we have good youth strikers if they can just prove that they're actually capable. That would be nice. Um, and Zach Dobby has been fairly good as well in the under 18s. So we do have potential coming through. Potentially. We <laughs> potentially have potential coming through. It all depends on if they come good. And they're quite still quite young. But yeah. We'll be back in the next episode to go through the end of season review. And then we'll have a look at the transfers that get made by the director of football. Which is going to be interesting because the director of footballs, you never know what you're going to get with them. Uh, we currently don't have any active deals. We have nobody coming in, nobody going out. Just to wait and see what happens, I suppose. A lot of players getting released, I think, this year. So, might have a very small squad when you come back. Dynamics-wise, actually. Club atmosphere is good. Uh, team cohesion is quite good, so I'm hoping there isn't too much of a change. And the managerial support is average. It would be nice if we could get that to a better level. And nobody hates us because I put Garner into the reserves. And Evans and Massey, they come to me and say they weren't happy with that. And I was, I said to them, it needed to be done. And they said, all right, that's great. Thanks, boss. And then left. So um, if you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Share with all of your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.